Happy 2024. Welcome to the Totally Designs channel. If you like to create, you like to grow, you like to know, or you simply just want to come and hang out, go ahead and press that like and subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Now, I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey, YouTube family. It's Casey from Totally Designs. And... I am starting to paint this beautiful wood earring canvas and I'm just covering it in a color called Muleberry, M-U-L-B-E-R-R-Y. And I'm just doing the first coat. I'm going to let this dry and I'm actually going to do another coat and then I'm going to add one of the stickers on there that I purchased from the Dollar Tree if you want to know where I got these canvases from you can purchase them off of Amazon they're very very reasonably priced okay so right now it just looks like I have stained the wood plank and as you can see it does have a hole it does have a hole in it so it is made for earrings you can use this as a pendant as well it all depends on what you're trying to do okay so I did finish painting that I'm gonna let that dry I usually always do one coat and then I let it dry before I put the other coat on there this project takes anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour it all depends on what you are doing um, for this one, because I allow drying time and I put on two coats and things like that, it's going to take me about 10 minutes for each so that it will be completely dry. Because what I do is I not only paint the front, but I also paint the back. So roughly it takes about five minutes for each side to dry and then I go from there by adding in other embellishments like the resin or um, sometimes I add in rhinestones of that nature and stuff like that but this one I'm not going to be adding rhinestone I'm only going to be adding in um, one of those stickers that I showed you and I do have a particular color in mind and let me just paint this and then I'll show you the one I'm thinking about adding to this color right here. Then I'm going to top it off with the resin. Y'all know resin is my thing. I love the resin. Okay, so let me show you what I'm thinking about adding on this particular one. So I'm thinking about adding this particular color right there because I like that and it and it it gels with that okay so normally what I would do after this point because I like to say time I normally just go ahead and let that dry and then I start on another one so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this paintbrush off or I may just start with another paintbrush all together we'll see And that all depends on if I clean it, wipe it clean enough. Now you can take a paper towel and just simply remove the paint. If not, always have another paint handy, a paintbrush handy, not a paint. But yeah, you also need to have the paint handy too, whatever you're gonna use after that. So I am just putting that aside right now. And then I'm going to grab another one of these because I'm going to make quite a few of these now these oh, and that happened so if that does happen y'all just smooth it out it's okay 
it's not gonna hurt anything. But sometimes accidents like that does happen. You just keep it moving. And all I did was just put on the coat before the other one had fully dried, which still is not a big deal. It just take longer to dry. And I normally do the top coat twice and let it dry, then I go to the back. That is my process. That's why I said it takes about 10 minutes um, to do the project. And that includes drying and all that. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that on there. So if you guys are thinking about a project, this is a good project for you to do. Now, big earrings are in, y'all. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to the trends, but you guys always know that I always talk about you as an artist setting the trend. You set the trend yourself, and you don't have to follow the trends of what's going on in the world because sometimes when you set the trends, people see what you have, and they start wearing what you have. I've seen that done, too. And all of a sudden, everybody's wearing it. I don't know. For some reason, I think that people thought that handmade items were not good enough. I remember being in school, and I would have friends that their uh, moms would make their clothes. And actually, that was really really a good thing right but most people would be embarrassed about having your mom make the clothes but not understanding that you know that's a trend you know making your own clothes that I, I think you know in hindsight you go back you think about how people were wearing guests they were wearing um uh whatever those gap all kinds of things right and they were wearing all these products and not understanding that the friends that had their moms make their clothes actually had the best trend because they could set their own and they never had to worry about running into other people wearing their stuff. And yeah, and a lot of times people used to think, oh, you have generic clothing, but not understanding that just because it's not manufactured doesn't mean that it's any less better. And I think a lot of times people take handmade and just, you know, make it seem like it's ugly or something like that. Or, you know, oh, you shouldn't be wearing that, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? But not realizing that when you have something handmade, what you're saying is, I'm setting my own trend. I am creating my own legacy, my own brand, my own identity. And it's amazing. Um, I thought about Monique, the comedian. She would say that she couldn't find clothing and she had to have her clothing made. And if I tell you if she didn't come out with some dynamic clothing, because what she was saying was like, they don't make clothing for, you know, plus size women. And you know, for a long time, they didn't, because they would just have like things like Catherine's and um, Lane Bryant, but the clothing was just like, I don't know. I don't know. It just wasn't very flattering and i guess they were saying i don't know what they were saying but you know that you know heavy set women plus size women you know they don't deserve to be attractive you know in clothing or whatever but you know mm -mm. the game changed especially when Ash ashley stewart came on the scene um yeah ashley stewart came with the flair she came with the flavor and so monique Back to her, she she started having her stuff handmade. And I'm going back to handmade. Handmade sometimes is better. That's all I'm saying. 
And if you don't see anything in the market that resembles your shape, your style, your identity, then you have the ability to create it or have somebody create it for you. Now, I went around the mulberry bush just to get back to the tree. Now, I see something, y'all, but I'm not going to do it on this one. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to finish painting this out, but I'm getting ready to blend something. So, all I'm saying is, if you don't see, again, you in the fashion world, if you don't resemble or if you don't see anybody that resembles your style, that means that you're an answer. You're an answer inside of the jewelry world, the clothing world, the shoe world, whatever world. And it's never too late to get your trend starting or make your mark in the world. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish painting this out. And I am, in the next video, you're gonna actually see me adding the um, sticker on there and the resin as well. And I'm gonna let it dry. That will be the next video. I wanna say thank you to all my new subscribers, returning subscribers. Thank you for following me on my journey. And it is always my prayer that you learn something out of each and every video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'm gonna turn it over and do the other side. And then I will come back in the next video and I will show you the finishing touches off of that. Until the next video, happy beating.